The traditional carnival club Bond City Soldiers make their entrance for the club's gala session. Some 2,000 guests will watch the club's lead dancers, Vivian Eichhorn and Vanna Fuchs. The couple never miss a performance. As many as 200 revelers take part in the elector's dance. Vivian, as the female lead dancer, which is traditionally called the Tanzmariechen, plays a prominent role. Backstage, minutes before showtime, every move's been rehearsed, especially the more complex ones. Actually, I was always very relaxed, but now in my first year as a lead dancer, I'm really excited. I'm always wound up before the performances. The so-called Marichen dance is the lead couple's solo performance and the high point of the evening. When you look around and see 2,000 faces, that's when you get really nervous. Between New Year's Day and Ash Wednesday, Vivian and Vanna put on over 40 performances, all in their free time. They've been preparing for this for a whole year. Twenty-four-year-old Vivian Eichhorn is a college student and aspiring police detective. Between her performances on the weekend and her studies during the week, it's hard to grab a spare minute to relax by the Rhine River. No matter how exhausting the weekend's performances are, I have to be in class Monday morning at 8 sharp. So it's a real challenge. You have to manage your time right to fit everything in. She has to get all her homework done before the week's over, no exceptions. Her weekends belong to the Carnival Club. She joined at the age of five, starting in the children's dance group, the Cadet Corps. I think every little girl in the Cologne or Bonn Carnival dreams of becoming a lead dancer one day. But it takes a lot of hard work. The couple practice at the gym twice a week. Vanner has been dancing with the club since 2004 and partnered up with Vivian about a year ago. Pull a little harder. We're really going to have to practice this, the cross step of the somersault. Does that work? Yeah, let's do the whole thing. You can dance more freely without the uniform because you can move more easily. In sneakers, you can throw your leg up, stretch your feet out and leap. In a uniform, you're restricted. Uniforms like these are unique to the German carnival. They date back to Elector Clemens August, who was Archbishop of Cologne in the 18th century. He loved extravagant masquerade balls. The uniformed carnival corps took shape in the Rhineland as a vehicle for parodies of court life. The uniforms include insignia showing people's rank in the city guards. The lead female dancer is the only one to wear a three-cornered hat with a plume. It takes Vivian about an hour to get her uniform ready to go on stage. I always have a whole pile of bobby pins to secure the hat. I have to put them in my hair under the hat. I can sway all over the place, and nothing moves but the feathers. So, now I'm ready to go on stage. This year, the Bonn Club were guests at the carnival in Venice. 150 club members and their lead dancer performed for a crowd of 30,000 on St. Mark's Square. That was a great honor. No other club from Cologne or Bonn has ever taken part in the carnival here, but we got this chance, so we're going to enjoy it to the fullest. The Rhenish dances in uniform were a hit in Venice. Now Vivian Eichhorn has fans the world over. Back in Germany, it's time for the next show. It's just one of many over the next few days. 
The street carnival goes on till Ash Wednesday next week, and Vivian will be part of it.